Hello and welcome to the workshop once again. Today I'm going to start assembling the frames. We're going to start by getting the main frames and the buffer beams put together. It's going to start looking like a steam locker instead of just bits of metal lying around. So, um, shall we crack on? So I've laid out the two frames on some wooden blocks and I've got one of the buffer beams stood up here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to loosely bolt the two angles to the buffer beam and I'll then attempt to get the frame into the angle. Hopefully, that's the plan. We have to nip out and get some extra nuts and bolts. Uh, to make sure we had enough for the job. Now I got all my nuts and bolts from a company called J&J Ashcroft. They're not sponsoring the video by the way, they're just a really nice company and uh, they can sort you out with any fasteners. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description, check them out. Quite competitive as well with prices. So let's begin. Ooh, we've got a bit of paint stuck there. There we go, we got one in. There we go, we're in. There's a little tiny bit of play there so we can adjust it. So I'm going to do this end differently, I'm going to put these on the frames because that buffer beam is extremely heavy. Right, one, yeah, I've got that one. So if I do it like this then at least I've got a chance of balancing it to get the buffer beam on. So I'm going to put my bolt in and try and catch it from that hole. There we go. Just like that. Ta da! Now I'm going to go around and put in all the bolts with nylocks. The only tight bracket I've found so far is um, this one, this, these ones on this inside corner. But if it causes me too much issues, as long as the frame spacing is correct, I'll just gently put a drill through just to loosen it a little bit.
Right, so we've just got a little slight misalignment on these holes. It's only a piece of angle, I've, I've swapped it around, and but I think I've marked some holes wrong. So I'm just gonna whiz through with the cordless drill. Cause it's a fraction, it's not, it's not very much. It's just a little bit. It measures correctly, I've measured the width of the frames. So the way it sits now is it is correct. So I'll whiz through with the drill. Oh, his battery's dead. Yay! I've gone through with the 10 mil. I didn't want to go, I didn't want to do a bigger, bigger hole. As you can see, I've taken off a little bit of that edge and it's going in all right now. So that's all the nuts and bolts in. So now I just need to go around and tighten them up and then we'll uh, have a little measure and see how out of square it is. She should be square because obviously we machine these angles so hopefully and the plates they look reasonably straight. Right, so it's together. We've got some good news and we've got some bad news. The good news is, it's together. But the bad news is we need to undo it because she's slightly twisted. As in, the frames aren't square to the buffer beams. It's square corner to corner, but the, the two frames themselves are sat like that. Very, that's exaggerated, so we need to undo the front bolts, the rear bolts, and give it a tweak. Let's get the spanner. <sighs> Bit trickier than I thought it would be. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I might need a special tool to help me get these in the right place. Uh, a small pair of adjustables might be uh, required. That should be small enough.
1789. 1789. We'll go outside to outside. 1921. 1920. <clears throat> so half a mil out on the outside. I finally got it together. The problems that I encountered. But they definitely took a, a little bit longer to rectify than I thought they would. Uh, at the front end, it was a case of just undo things and tweak it a little, and it went. But that end, that was quite far out. But as you've just seen, we are within half a millimetre out of square from outside corner to outside corner. And on the inside here, from the inside of the angle to the outside of the angle here, we're plumb, we're, we're perfectly square. So I'm happy with that. And as you could see from uh, the time lapse, how I set the ends was using, oh, was using this plate, which is the plate that goes in front of the rear pony wheel, because that's been laser cut, it's the perfect size. If you do like what you've seen in the video, please click the like button and that will help it spread a bit further. Join me next time when we'll be putting a few more bits on. Laters.